There you go. Fucking fucking number lock was on. All right. My fault. What's good is your boy Super Sunny G the Great whatever, bro. <laughs> Naruto Unhinged Episode Eight Forest of the Freaks. Let's get into this. I do not own Naruto or any other series related to it. This video is a parody for entertainment purposes and for the enjoyment of fans that follow the original series. But with all that said, please enjoy the video. Episode 8, The Forest of Freaks. Hmm, it sure is beautiful today, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually pretty nice out right now. No one asked for your opinion, you glue guzzler. You literally asked me a question. Bit I was monologuing. Then what was the point in bringing me out here if you were just going to monologue? I heard some of the kids around the village talking about having something called Aura, and how the Leaf Village hoes love it. So I thought monologuing in front of a mouth breather like you would increase my aura. You're 68 years old talking about Aura. Just stop. I'm 68, yet I would still beat the bricks off of you like- Wait. Yeah. Sure, 68 or whatever. I don't know if that's canon to the actual timeline, but... Was there any hoes around when he said that? It was no hoes around, so what the fuck was the point in that? I was 30. 68, yet I would still beat the bricks off of you like I was 30. I brought you here to talk about that Lil Niglet Naruto. Did something happen? Ibiki gave me the results about everyone that participated in the first exam. Surprisingly, a lot of people passed this year's version. But what's even more surprising is that it's mainly because of Naruto. Word. Okay, and? You smooth bird brain, one-eyed f***. Him being the reason they passed isn't what I have a problem with. It's the reports I got on his behavior and the way he was talking. I never said you had a problem <coughs> with it. And hey, my fault. Pardon me, I'm sick. <coughs> Either sick or some shit with allergies, bro. My my little man. <sighs> got some shit going on. I got on his behavior and the way he was talking. I never said you had a problem with it, and that first line you said was really unnecessary. Well, boo hoo. Go cry to your pops about it. At least that's what I would say if he didn't pack himself up. He looked fucking tiny. This next was a nice action. conversation, Lord Third. I think I'm gonna go before I do something to you I'll regret. <laughs> All right, calm down. I need to give you a warning. From the information I got from Ibiki, and the other information I got from people around the village, it would seem that the beast inside of Naruto is starting to wake up even more. From what I can tell, Naruto has been able to keep it under control so far. You might be overthinking it. Kakashi, you don't understand. I feel as though the beast is slowly affecting his personality. What do you mean? You remember the night when the nine c nigga attacked the village, right? Well, during that time, me and a squad of Leaf Ninja had to hold him off for a little bit, while the fourth Hokage was busy fighting another battle. But while we fought the beast, I remember his distinct personality. It was almost like he was a little black kid that was from the hood. He was loud, brash, confident. He even said nigga like 20 times throughout the fight. All y'all niggas looks like some bitches, homie. And from the stuff I'm Riley? hearing about Naruto, it would seem... That had to be Riley. But, um, the fuck was I going to say? Yeah, you haven't really seen much of, like... Cause I don't even think we've really seen too many fight sequences uh, in this series yet. I don't even know if... He used any of the fucking chakra from the nine tails yet in this shit. Um, but he is talking about his personality, so let's see. Seem like his personality is becoming similar to the beasts. That does seem really similar to Naruto, which is very concerning. We should do something about this. I thought about that, and I decided that we won't do anything about it. Why not? This could be really dangerous for Naruto. Even better, hopefully it kills him. Damn. What the hell is wrong with you? You promised the fourth Hokage that you would watch over Naruto. So why would you ever say something like that? Right. First of all, fuck Minato. I Damn. ain't promise him shit. 
Damn. I lied straight to that nigga's face while he was dying. <laughs> Why would you lie about something like that? Because I'm petty like that. I don't care that you're petty. I need. There's no way that's his nigga real uh, personality. He he got to be doing this for the the Kenochi, the Kenochi holes. Like that. Straight to that nigga's face while he was dying. Why would you lie about something like that? Because I'm petty like that. I don't care that you're petty. I need to know your reasoning for doing this. Oh, trust me. I definitely have my reasons. When the elders were thinking of making Orochimaru's freaky ass Hokage, I was the one who stepped in and told them that would be a horrible idea. So I nominated Minato instead. And we all know how that turned out. I basically put this nigga on and set him up for life. So one day after he was made Hokage, we were talking and I opened up to him. I told him that because of my age, it's getting a little hard for me to get active sexually due to a lack of women in this village interested in older men like me. So I asked him for one simple favor. Keep in mind, I never asked him for anything else before this. Plus, I thought it was understood. My fault. It's real easy to forget what this nigga hair look like. And that's canon. They was finna make Orochimaru a uh, fucking Hokage. And is th also, is this from Shippuden? I don't remember everything I've seen in Naruto, but I don't know if this is from the original or if this is from Shippuden, what these niggas talking. To him. I told him that because of my age, it's getting a little hard for me to get active sexually due to a lack of women in this village interested in older men like me. So I asked him for one simple favor. Keep in mind, I never asked him for anything else before this. Plus, I thought it was understood that he basically owes me one because I was one of the main reasons he became Hokage. So I asked him if he would let me have sex with Kushina for the one time. He told me no, <laughs> then walked away. Hey, for the one time is crazy. For the one time is crazy because you know a nigga ain't gonna stop right there. The fuck? One time, nigga, you, that's all the times, cuz. I put you, nigga, gonna bring that shit up all the time, cuz, homie, I put you in one, nigga. He have sex with Kushina for the one time. He told me no, then walked away. Yeah. So I took that personally. <laughs> and when I heard he had gotten her pregnant shortly after that, it was like adding fuel to the fire <laughs> that was already burning inside of me. Nah, nah, that's some hating ass shit. What the? Nah, he, he was just plotting on his wife. Get the fuck out of here. So every day, like adding fuel to the fire that was already burning inside of me. So every day, I prayed on his downfall. <laughs> I prayed that they would have a miscarriage. I even prayed that he would die. Luckily for me, his downfall did come, and he did end up dying. I've never seen someone hate this much over something so stupid and childish. You can say whatever you want about it, but unlike him, at least I'm still alive. I'm just gonna... Stink men are levels of hate. The fuck, man, what, what was they called? Hate or, hate or I can see? Hate or, some shit. You can say whatever you want about it, but unlike him, at least I'm still alive. Barely. I'm just gonna ignore that hateful ass statement you just said, because now I need to know why you're bringing Naruto into this stupid hate circle of yours. He wasn't even born yet. You think I care whether that little niglet was born yet? He's the only offspring of Minato, so I'll be damned if I willingly let him live in the same world as me without any harm. <laughs> You're pathetic. So is your dad. That lame-ass nigga really offed himself. Oh, man. You know what? I think it's time that I leave. You're about to bring out a side of me that I'd rather not show again. Ain't nobody worried about that weak-ass ghetto side you got. Haven't seen that since you were a kid. Whatever. But just as a little warning, you should probably start watching your back from now on. Because it would really be a shame if someone you knew were to indirectly be one of the reasons you die. Oh, so you want to play like that and threaten me, Kakashi? Well, I can do that too, you sharpie sniffer. If anything I said in this conversation gets leaked by you or anyone I suspect that you told, then I'll have your <coughs> albino ass thrown out of this village and hunted until you're tap dancing with your bitch ass sensei Minato. Now get the hell out of my face. The second exam starts shortly. Actually, before I go, I need to ask you one thing about that. I understand why you chose Ibiki to hold the first exam, 
but I'm confused on why you would choose someone like Anko to hold the second one. I guess there's no point to lie about it, especially since I literally just told you everything like I'm some type of cartoon villain. But basically, she <laughs> came up to me and requested to be one of the proctors. I gave her the position because I'm trying to hit, so hopefully she's willing to pay me back in some lucrative ways to say thanks. You know how she feels about older men, especially considering what happened to her as a kid. So, I don't even know why you're trying. I don't care that she got touched by Orochimaru's weird ass as a kid. This is gonna sound a little crazy, but maybe it's a good thing. Because you know that every person Orochimaru has had contact with becomes freaky in some way. Freaky. And I'm trying to experience that level of freakiness before I die. You're literally sick and disgusting. I said what I said, and I meant it. Doubling down on that statement is just wild. But even if she somehow let you do all that, I don't think you could handle it without having a heart attack. Plus, me and her are friends with benefits, so I don't think you would want my seconds. Since when you think a nigga cared about some sloppy seconds, yeah. I'm just trying to get my meat wet. This nigga really don't give a fuck. These niggas been talking for seven minutes. What the fuck? The way the Kakashi was uh, talking, he was finna unleash that showering on this nigga. And with that statement alone, I've heard enough. I hope you have a horrible day and die in the shower. Because I lost all respect I had left for you today. Which wasn't much to begin with anyways. Damn, I guess you lost respect for me just as fast as you lost your dad when, when he offed himself. himself. Your joke isn't funny anymore. Respect for me just as fast as you lost your dad when, when he offed himself. himself. Your joke isn't funny anymore. This is your third time saying this. You're just predictable. But was it as predictable as your dad when he offed himself? <laughs> Don't even get mad. You were basically asking for it with that line. Now I'm up 4-0. It's nice to see you all here so early. Unfortunately for me, it looks like I didn't have to hunt any of you down. So consider yourselves lucky. Not gonna lie. When I see stuff like this, I just have to call it out. Your tits are big as hell. All that edging he did the other night must be making him horny. This is just a part of the natural progression to becoming a true edger like me. The real test is overcoming these urges. What do I have to do for you to let a nigga suck on them like some Similac? Or how about I just come and... I'm a little too old for you, little guy. So, how about you keep your thoughts to yourself next time? I would be lying if I said I wasn't bricked right now. It definitely would be bricked, but I don't remember how big her fucking breasts are. It was the fuck. Sorry to interrupt. I overheard Ain't that a the conversation tomorrow? and just. Sorry to interrupt. I overheard the conversation. Fuck is she smiling like that for? This nigga. And just wanted to say that I just so happened to be of age. So how about me and the little boy switch places? Then maybe you can try and hunt me down after. The second exam will be starting soon, so I think I'll pass. Plus your approach is a little too aggressive for my liking. <coughs> That's understandable. You're a little too old for my liking anyways. Looks like they have a sense of humor. I don't know if it's just me, but that really didn't sound like a joke. But maybe I'm just overthinking it. Thanks to my little conversation. Hey, hold on. Cursor, cursor. This nigga is actually going to hit the screen. This nigga looks like The Rock. Humor. If you smell. I don't know if it's just me, but that really didn't sound like a joke. But maybe I'm just overthinking it. Thanks to my little conversation with Lee yesterday. I was introduced to an amazing white artist named Kendrick Lamar. I couldn't find any pictures of him though. But since I listened to some of his songs last night, I now know a perfect song lyric for this situation. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. All right, I think it's about time I explained what you will be doing for the second exam. I'm only going to explain this once, so make sure you listen up. For them to be racist, 
They just, well, Gara at least. Him to be racist, he just say nigga like it's regular. He don't even add the ER, but he probably fuck up his shit if he add the ER. <laughs> The second exam is a survival exam, which you will have five days to complete. So basically, this is going to be five days of no weed. What a drag. Five days seems a bit much for one exam. Even though this year's exams are different, this was the same location used last year for the regular exams. So if the rules are the same, Man, look then at my you basically shit. have to reach a very far and specific location within the forest that's in front of us. Thanks for saving me the explanation. What's your name? I don't like giving my name out to random people. No offense. None taken. Your hair color reminds me of someone I know, so I just wanted to say you're a handsome and smart young man. Oh, but I get a kunai thrown at me for stating a fact about her body. Make it make sense, my nigga. I would compliment you back, but I'm not really attracted to your gen... Ahem. I knew it. I'm sorry for that. I stumbled on my words. What I meant to say was, <laughs> I'm not sure how to respond to generous comments very well. Moving on from that, this is the last thing you guys need to know before the exam starts. Each team will be given one of these scrolls. You must have both of these scrolls with you before making it to this exact point. If you don't have both, then you don't move on to the next round. So do whatever you have to do to get these scrolls. Anything goes. That's everything explained. So go ahead and talk amongst yourselves until it's time to start. How old is Kabuto? Hey, you pink haired little boy. Give me a quick update on how my man is doing. My man is doing amazing. And in case it hasn't clicked for you yet, me and him are about to be in the forest alone together. So I'm thinking I might extract some honey from the beehive when he's sleeping, if you know what I mean. Hmm. That's wow. The fuck? That's gonna fuck up his edit streak. <clears throat> it is about time you took that sticker off your face. You are not even from the hood, so I do not even know why you would put it on in the first place. I know he doesn't actually care. He just wants to try and get a reaction out of me. But still, most of these jits don't know the stuff that goes on behind the gates of the Huga clan, so they have no <coughs> right to even try and speak on it. So his tattoo is a fucking sticker. Nigga not really said it. Nigga lost the point with me already. Slim, thick, caramel skin. Five, five, this bitch a ten. Hair done. Bills paid. Catch me sliding in a bed. Bins. Remember that our only goal when entering this forest is making contact with the target. The thought of finally coming face to face with them has me feeling excited in more places than one. So if one of you messes this up for me, I'll kill you both. I'll kill Bro, you. Bro, what the fuck was this? He could... I know you got the fucking juice use or whatever where you could, like, turn into somebody else, but what the fuck is this? It... Did he take over somebody? I don't remember. Did he take over somebody's body? Like, what the fuck? This ain't even something I really see referenced that often. And I don't remember neither one of these niggas. But, what the fuck? Whatever. Because, uh, wait, if I remember correctly, Orochimaru always looks like Orochimaru. I don't know if this was some youthful shit he had going on, but he wouldn't look like that when he was younger. And... Like I said, I don't, I don't, whatever, bro. Kill you both. <clears throat> All right, quit sitting around and get your little asses in that forest. Because the second exam starts now. I can just smell the instigation opportunities in this forest. So I need to make sure I do not miss them. I haven't seen Lee this eager to instigate in a while. Jit must have something big already in the works, which is concerning. All right, team, listen up. The only thing. Oh wait, he might not know how to keep the uh, certain images on moving uh, <clears throat> and like actual videos, moving frames. That's probably why he doesn't have the uh, the teardrop, and that's probably why you saw I leave with the do rag and like still images. That's probably why. 
thing that I need us to do is to find another scroll and get to the destination before Naruto's team does. This shouldn't be hard considering that we're all better than him anyways. Hmm. He could never be better than Naruto. Oh yeah, I like that. Hell yeah, Shino. That's the type of energy I'm looking for. This is why you're such a great team. Mm. Damn, girl, you're good. Shino, why did you just say that? Yeah, keep crawling in and out just like that. Shino, what the fuck are you doing right now? And why do I hear the sound of a beetle coming from your pants? Wait a minute. Don't tell me you're... God damn it, Kiba, you just ruined it for me. But to answer your question, it's exactly what it looks like. I had a conversation last night with the fly that helped me get the answers off of Naruto's paper. She told me that I should embrace what I like, and that I shouldn't be ashamed of my kink. And I agree. So I'm not hiding it anymore. Freaky ass I don't judge you on whatever you do. So you can't judge me either. So this isn't even his first time doing something like this? Before we move any further, I want to say the fucking dog right? don't even want to be bothered with that shit, Joe. Akamaru, like nah, Akamaru, not even looking over there. <clears throat> but definitely freaky ass nigga, sixty nine god. Before we move any further, I want to say something to you, Naruto. You making that statement about the Proctor's breast earlier was out of pocket, and made you look really horny. But that's just one of the side effects when you start to edge. So if anything, I'm, I'm proud sorry. of you for continuing oh. your edge sessions. Keep it up. I got you, my nigga. But speaking of that, I think I have some type of resistance or something. What do you mean you have a resistance? So you know how I've only been edging for a few days now, right? Well, within those few days, there were a couple of times where my streak should have ended. Because a nigga still had to risk it all for that nut. But when I did, I was basically just shooting blanks. Because nothing came out. Maybe you just have more self-control than you think. Nah. I low-key think it's because of the jutsu that racist-ass nigga used on me the other day. The testicular torsion jutsu. <laughs> or whatever it's called. After he used it on me, he told me that I won't be using my left nut anytime soon. So maybe because of that, I'm not able to bust. Even if I purposely try to. You might be onto something with that. After this exam is over, test it one more time just to be sure. Or I can do it right now and we'll have our answer. I'll be back in a few minutes. Bro, that was a tough one, not gonna lie. But I will say without a doubt that it is good. <laughs> what did you do with Naruto? You're looking right at me. What are you even talking about? Naruto has never said the word bro since I met him. Plus, he always opts to say the N-word as a replacement for the word bro anyways. So since you're clearly not him, word as Naruto. Fuck, I miss you. <clears throat> bro, that was a tough one, not gonna lie. But I will say without a doubt that it is good. What did you do with Naruto? Swipe the shit out of me. You're looking right at me. What are you even talking about? Naruto has never said the word bro since I met him. Plus, he always opts to say the N word as a replacement for the word bro, anyways. So, since you're clearly not him, tell us what you did with him. Damn it, it was that noticeable? Well. I don't know what the fuck I'm finna watch next. But, uh, I mean, I don't even know what the fucking say, for real. Fucking, uh, hating ass, he a hating ass god, fucking Lord Third, what's it, Sato Toby? No, this nigga got another name. Fuck. This nigga got another name, I, I can't fucking remember. This nigga was hating, I'm just, they ain't never fight, but. Now, he was definitely talking crazy to Kakashi. Surprise, like. <laughs> Kakashi ain't pulled that Sharingan or something. I thought it was gonna be like he pulled the Sharingan out when he predicted his joke, like reading his lips or something. Um, what the fuck I was happening? Anko. I remember liking that character as a kid. 
Neji lost points. This nigga te uh, teardrop fake. But it's probably because... I'm sorry. He don't know how to do the... Uh, like, keep that on moving images. It, it takes time to do that. And you got to make sure it's in the same spot if you were... So it would look fucked up if the shit the tattoo was constantly moving in each frame. Uh, it was something else in here, I think. Oh, yeah, that. The teardrop shit with the do-rag. That's probably why they don't keep them on. And I guess this is cool. Got to wait and see what the fuck happened next time. Shout out, uh, Barack Obizi. It's your boy Super Sonic G signing off.